Good morning, today's tutorial was gonna be an update to my online WordPress free theme generator, that's a long phrase. But as I was building it, I discovered a small but big and really, really impressive and useful bit of functionality that I wanna show you all about today that you can start using right now on your own sites. Let's get into it. Right, let's launch the theme builder and I'll show you what I'm talking about. And if you wanna take this for a spin yourselves, there is a link in the description so you can build your own themes as well. But that's not what I wanna focus on today. Here it is launching. What I wanna focus on is the ability to create patterns, but then automatically display them depending on the type of post or page or custom post type that you're launching. Let me show you. So here we go. Now, even though we're gonna have better block pattern support in WordPress 6.3, this takes it to a whole different level. I'm gonna tell you what this plugin is at the end of the video. But you'll see over here on the left, we've got this new option that says patterns. If I click on that, that's gonna open up this ability for me to see all the current block patterns on my website. And also I can create my own. You'll see in the top right here, I can create a new pattern. Now I've shown you some of this before, but what I haven't shown you is what I'm about to show you, which takes it to a whole different level in my view. So here's the layout that I've just created. And the thing I really wanna show you is over here on the right. Can we see we've got this pattern? This is where we can actually do things like categorize the pattern and a few other things, but I'm gonna skip all of that. I wanna get straight to the most interesting thing, which is this option down here, which is post types and it's allowed post types. What this lets us do is say, this pattern is only available for specific post types, so maybe pages or posts. It also supports custom post types as well, which is really cool. And it also supports this if you export this and create a new theme out of your design here, it'll export this and have this functionality because this is based functionality now with block themes. Super powerful, super cool. So what I'm gonna do here, just to show you this, I'm gonna say, right, this pattern here is only available when I'm creating a post. And you can imagine this if you're in a multi-author environment, this sort of stuff is incredibly powerful. And then there's another option down here, which is even more exciting, I think, which is this one here, which is modal visibility. What this means is when you start to create a brand new post, this pattern or any patterns that you designate to be allowed with this post type and this modal visibility will show you. Let me, let me do it so you can see. I'm gonna create a pattern just by clicking on create pattern in the top right. That's done. We can go and manage that pattern now, but watch what happens now when I create a new post. I'm gonna go add new post up here. Can you see here, it's automatically launched the modal with the pattern that I've just created in. So you could create a library of patterns here for your authors or your editors, which are pre-designed that only launch on specific posts or post types. If I want to edit that pattern, I just can go click on patterns here and all the patterns will show up. And if I wanna go back into that one, you see over here, I can just click on edit. Now let me categorize it quickly because that will show us also that we can also bar this from showing in certain post types. So at the moment, this pattern is only due to show in posts because I've told it down here, this is only allowed to be used in posts. And if I go add new page here, you'll see A, the modal doesn't pop up because I haven't designated this to pages. And if I click on the block inserter here and go to patterns, and this was actually a banner, you'll see that banner doesn't appear at all in my banners because it's not allowed in pages. But if I go to post, that modal will pop up like so, so I could use it, just click on it and use it. But also if I click on the block inserter and go to patterns here and go to banners, you'll see my banner is right at the top there. So it's really, it's really, really powerful stuff. Again, this is a plugin, but this functionality is kind of baked into block themes, but not surfaced at the moment here for the user interface. But hopefully this will be wound into core fairly soon because it's super powerful. It's so much more powerful than what we currently have with standard block patterns within the core software. So just two more cool things to show you. The first is it supports custom post types, which I briefly mentioned. You'll see over here, I'm creating this layout here for movies and in allowed post type, this site has a custom post type of type movies and we can select that. And again, we can select modal visibility and create that pattern. So when I'm creating a post type of type movie now, that pattern should automatically pop up. Let me go to movies and add new. And hopefully, fingers crossed, we should see the modal pop up automatically and there we go, there's our modal. I've created that one previously, but there's that one there. And there we go, we've got the layout dynamically now inserted. And then the final cool thing I want to show you is how when you export this as a brand new block theme, the functionality still works without needing the plugin installed. Let me show you. So I'm using the Create Block Theme plugin, which I've mentioned before on this channel. And I'm just gonna create a brand new block theme so you can see this. And let me call this pattern, that's the name of my block theme. I'm not gonna add any other information here, I'm just gonna click generate. That'll generate me my brand new block theme. Let's add it to the site and see if it works. So let's launch a brand new site from my friends at InstaWP. Let's just create a brand new site. Click on add new. So all I'm doing here is creating a brand new, fresh WordPress install so we can see I'm not cheating. 
let's log into that site. Right, let's just upload that brand new theme that I literally just created using the create block theme plugin. There it is, pattern.zip, let's upload that. So let's add a new post and fingers crossed, hopefully we should see an automatic pop-up. There we go, there's our pattern. And this is the plugin that I've used to create these patterns and export these patterns. It's called Pattern Manager. It's free by WP Engine. You can download it on WordPress.org. I'll put a link in the description for you. Again, if you want to test out my free online block theme generator, link is also in the description for you. It's primarily designed to be used for when you're creating block themes that you can create these block patterns and then export them out with your theme. But it's a fantastic little plugin that you could actually use on your sites if you just want to get more control over your block patterns. So I hope you found that one useful. I think it's incredibly useful, especially if you want to curate the editing experience for your customers or if you're in a multi-user environment. I think it adds a huge amount of functionality and value. If you enjoyed this video, if you could hit that like button now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge, huge difference in terms of how this video is spread around YouTube. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat. If you want to see more videos around WordPress and Gutenberg, hit that subscribe button now and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.